I got to go for repair on this Philco 90. And I thought I'd uh, tackle one of the harder jobs first, and that's repairing the open coil on that uh, primary of coil 7, is what it turns out to be. And of course I double checked with an ohmmeter and also with uh, drawings to make sure that everything matches. So if the drawing matches and what I check out with an ohmmeter matches, I know I'm in the right place. Okay, it's time to work on that open coil. It's number seven listed in the diagram. But before I do anything, I always take detailed pictures of the chassis of the entire chassis. makes a very good record in case I need it. Here I have just completed unsoldering the wires from the coil and that piece of aluminum that you see there I put that on that wire so I wouldn't uh, burn the insulation off with the soldering iron. Here's the coil removed from the chassis and the lower coil is the one that's open. That's the primary. And let's take a closer look at it. You can see some discoloration and that could be due to not having you know absolutely clean conditions when they made this coil and over the years if there if that's a little bit of acid or something like that it'll just corrode through and the coil will open up by itself even without putting any power on it here I'm checking the coil again and this is the secondary and you can see it's uh, a little over 8 ohms and here is the primary it's wide open and as I took the old wire off it broke in several pieces uh, around that corrosion or discolored area Here I just completed winding the new coil on the form and the next thing I did was I taped the windings. I want to do that to make sure that they don't come unwound and then I soldered the leads onto the form. Here the coil has been reinstalled and everything soldered and I've checked it out with an ohmmeter and everything is ready to go. Now my next step is going to be changing out all these capacitors.